Hey, my name's Derek, and I just want to share a story about how not brushing my teeth for three days uh, left me in the hospital for several weeks and almost killed me. So last year, I went on a ski trip to Utah, um, Park City to be exact, and I didn't bring my toothbrush on the trip because I have an electric toothbrush and I don't like packing it. So I said, I'll just buy a cheap one when I get there. Um, three days went by and I didn't buy one. And it's pretty gross, I know. And it felt gross. I just, I would chew gum or like put toothpaste in my mouth and use my finger um, instead of just actually getting one. Uh, by the third day, I finally got one. And when I started brushing my teeth, uh, my gums were bleeding. And my gums bled for several days. Uh, and I didn't really think much of it. I just knew that, you know, sometimes I get bloody gums when I go to the dentist or I floss because I just don't do it very often. Uh, so yeah, I didn't think much of it. Um, continued to brush my teeth every day like I normally do. And uh, returned back to Phoenix, Arizona, returned to work. Things were back to normal. Um, and uh, yeah, with it, after about two weeks, I started getting just headaches every day. Just small headaches. Um, and those headaches progressed into like body aches. I just felt pretty weak. Um, and I had a gym membership at the time, but I thought, you know what, maybe I need to switch up my gyms, go to a better gym, maybe work out harder, uh, do more athletic style workouts. And uh, maybe that would fix some of the body aches I was having. And so I signed up for this gym. Headaches were still going on. Body aches were still going on. My body just, it just felt weak. It's the best way to describe it. I felt weak. My joints ached. And then one day I had to run to catch this light rail home from work. And I ran for about 40 seconds. And I got in the light rail and I had the worst headache I've ever had. My head was just throbbing. I felt like somebody was sitting on my head for 20 minutes probably and so that started to kind of concern me I thought maybe I have a concussion because during the ski trip uh, on the third day I was weaving through, th through some trees and I fell and slid into a tree and hit my head on a tree but I was wearing a helmet but I still hit it really hard so I thought maybe I had a concussion because at this time as well my neck started really bothering me I started having neck pain so I went to the chiropractor first, let him know what was going on, and uh, he did some neck adjustments, and and uh, he thought maybe I had a concussion as well. So I was like, all right, um, you know, let's just take, the, just be aware of the next few days, you know. And then uh, one night I woke up and I was just covered in sweat. My entire body was drenched in sweat. And my blankets were drenched in sweat. And I'd never really had night sweats before. So uh, I thought that was kind of odd. Uh, then that day, that next day at work, I was just uh, inside. I worked inside. And it's February. Um, I mean, it's pretty warm inside where I worked. And I would just become freezing out of nowhere and just start shivering uncontrollably shivering for 20 to 30 minutes and so I, I went outside I put on a big jacket and just laid in the sun for 20 minutes and the whole time I was shivering and trying my hardest to stop and mentally telling myself stop shivering what is what is wrong with you you know it didn't work and then that shivering after the shivering would stop I would have horrible headache and my body would be really warm. So it, it had these two extremes. I'd go from freezing to really warm. And that's happened like two or three times a day for probably three days in a row. And the third day I'd, I'd gone to get a massage. Cause like, All right, maybe I need to release some tension, you know? When I got a massage, before, I was, before the masseuse walked in, I was on the table, you know, shaking under the, uh, the blanket. 
and I thought, oh, maybe it's just really cold in this room, and for whatever reason, I'm shivering, and so at this point, I think I'm losing my mind. I think I'm going crazy, to be honest. I didn't, because the last thing I thought of was maybe I'm getting sick. I, I normally don't get sick, and uh, I never experienced anything like that before, so I thought, no, nah, I can't be that. So after my massage, uh, my masseuse said, you know, you felt really warm. Um, you know, are you sick? And I said, no, I don't think so. She said, well, I'd advise, you know, going to get your temperature taken. I said, okay. So I went to Walgreens, bought a thermometer, tore it out of the box right away, took my temperature, and uh, while well, I was sitting in the car, and it was 102 something. So that's when I realized, okay, I'm actually sick. Now it's just, what is it? What's going on with me? So the next day I went to the doctor, um, told the doctor what was happening. Uh, granted, I've had two open heart surgeries. I'm a pacemaker. Um, so I, I kind of gave him my background and told him the symptoms I was having. And uh, he, he spent about two minutes with me, dismissed as the flu, got a swab test. Flu was negative, but he gave me antibiotics for it anyways because he said uh, it's probably what it is anyways, even though it was negative. So I was like, okay. Um, went home. The night sweats continued. The shakes continued. And when I was at home, I didn't know how to combat it. So, like, I would get so cold. Um, we had a hot tub, and I just go lay in the hot tub for, like, 20 minutes. And I'm just shaking cold in a 102-degree hot tub. And then I'd get so hot and get these terrible, terrible headaches and fever. So then I'd go fill my bathtub up with ice and just lay in the ice and make, like, an ice tub for myself. Yeah, it's kind of crazy I waited so long to really to do anything about it. Um, yeah, then I get the bad headaches and the fever and I'd lay with a, a cool uh, rag on my head and just trying to find ways to make myself feel a little better. Um, but anyways, after uh, my fever went up to like 103, I thought maybe I should go to the hospital because I can't trust the doctor. I don't, I definitely don't have the flu. Went to the hospital and uh, they did a blood culture, some blood test, and uh, sent me home because it takes about a day or two for the results to come back because it has to grow bacteria. And so sent me home. And while I was home, you know, sometimes you'd feel completely normal. You'd feel good. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, these shakes would come on. And again, that's what happened. It, it never stopped. And uh, then... I think it was either a day and a half or two days later, the hospital called me and they said, um, yeah, you need to come back right now. There's a, uh, your, your blood cultures came back positive and yeah, you just need to return as soon as possible. Uh, we know you're coming, um, check in, uh, in the emergency room and we'll get you on the way. So, okay, you know, here we go. I resisted to go to the hospital as long as I could because I've spent a lot of time in the hospital with my heart disease. And even though it's kind of kind of dumb, I waited so long because of my background, I just, I resist. I resist going in. Um, so yeah, I, I returned to the hospital and uh, I ended up spending a little over two weeks in the hospital. Uh, for what turned out to be an infection of my heart called endocarditis. And yeah, it almost killed me. It, I was, it could have been a, another week before that infection would have killed me. And, you know, I'll, I'll talk about a little bit more about my hospital experience and what happened when I got in there in, a, in another video. But I just want to end, you know, on this, on this note by saying, uh, I, I'm not a, I'm not a victim for what happened, you know. Um, it was I made the choice to not brush my teeth. I could have I could have brought a toothbrush, um, been responsible, and none of that would have happened. I wouldn't have spent the next year battling this this infection and the, the complications that came with it um, for something so simple as brushing my teeth. Um, so yeah, it's, I'm not a victim. I, it's not woe is me. 
uh, it was extremely rough, rough infection to deal with and super hard mentally. But uh, at the end of the day, I mean, it was some, it was a decision that I made. It was something that I did, and it had repercussions. And yeah, um, if you want to hear about more of what happens in the hospital, just stay tuned, and I'll talk about that. Uh, in the meet, uh, next video. Uh, anyways, thanks for listening. If you have more questions about endocarditis, uh, let me know.